flip side of what his father originally did, who, instead of what a lot of the militants and other counterparts in Africa did, he basically encouraged media to get a uh, free market and greater economy, but his son's going against that. Um, yeah. Establishing what that's saying. Uh, yeah, and basically I've I've kind of looked at it and made my own judgment. Um, I I personally feel Kenya is going backwards on the progress made by by the father of the current president uh, by renouncing free press and opting for more regulated media. In uh, doing this, despite what I've been saying about the Freedom Index. Um, basically suggests Kenya, Kenya for investigative uh, journalists it's not really safe so if you can't investigate your own government then despite what they're saying about Kenya being partly free you can't yeah it can't really be free if you can't even hold accountability to the own government um, there are there are still independent ones that remain that remain independent and still holding the government to accountability. However, with the new imposings of the law, and there's also coming through, I think next week, uh, they're gonna try and impose another law. Soon they, they might actually be heading into the dark age of the media. Um, yeah. Yeah, um, Kenya has what might appear to be one of the most previous systems of the closely slipped into a repressive media system. Um, also, the coverage on the Westgate attack, it, in my opinion, should be seen as a positive light out of the dim situation, purely because it shows that uh, the, the press can inform <coughs> people about what's going on, but instead it's been condemned by the current government and discouraged. That's my presentation. Done.